Today I will show you how to make a guacamole that is a thousand times better than the store-bought and it is so simple. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dr. Eckberg with Wellness for Life and by subscribing to this channel and following us, you will learn everything that you need to know to master true health. Today we will be showing you how to make guacamole. It is one of my favorite things to do. You could have it as a dip, you could have it as a side dish. There's really no way to mess it up, but I'll show you how easy it is. We're gonna start with some avocados. We'll have some fresh lime, fresh onion, garlic. I like to use fresh cilantro, but I didn't have any, so when I run out, I, I, I freeze it to keep some, some for backup. We'll have some tomato salt and pepper and if you like a little bit of hot spice you could use jalapenos i never keep those around so i'll just use a little hot sauce we'll start with avocado and these have been sitting in the fridge for a while so i don't know how good they are this one was really nice actually but if you don't if they gone a little brown or gray then you can just scoop out the nice part it doesn't really affect the end result so there we got to cut out cut away a little bit and you could use an electric mixer but when they're really really ripe then they mix so easily you can just stir it in see it's a little bit like a gamble this one's not great but it's we can salvage some of it and avocado is one of these wonderful wonderful foods that nature makes because it's so enjoyable in its natural form and it is so rich and satisfying it is nice and creamy it has lots of fiber lots of essential uh, lot, lots of good fats and it's one of those things that mother nature really got it right so there's two of them I like to make a little bit extra because once I make it I'll eat it uh, it keeps for two three days so you want to you can make a little bit of extra and that one looked really nice too now if you buy it in the store and it keeps for a week or two then you have to kind of question how that happens because really really fresh food it spoils very quickly that's just nature's way of, of reclaiming things that if it doesn't spoil then that means that the the pathogens the bacteria and so forth they don't really want it so you always have to ask if if the bugs don't want it then is there is it really something that that you want to eat so the fresher the better but the fresher uh, means it has a shorter lifespan also. This one's just a little bit firmer, so I, I cut it in pieces before I, I put it in there. And then we're gonna have some onion, and I want it chopped, so I just make some cuts down the side. And about a quarter onion, I think, is about right. for three avocados. We're gonna chop up the cilantro. This garlic clove is pretty big, so we need to cut it in two to make it fit in the garlic press. I 
I love garlic. Makes most things taste better. And I'll squeeze some lime in there. So we'll start with one wedge of lime. And then I'm going to mix it up and taste it and see if it needs more. And to slice tomatoes, you want either a, a really sharp knife like this or something serrated. Otherwise, you'll be cursing over the tomato. You cut it, dice it, little bite size. And there's no rule for this. However big and chunky you, you want it. I know in restaurants they like to keep the pieces as large as possible so it looks like they actually put some real food in there and that's, that's a good thing. And two tomatoes might have been a little more than what this really needed, but again, it's hard to mess it up uh, as long as you get the proportions even remotely close, you will be okay. Some salt, some pepper, I like fresh ground black pepper, there's always a little more aroma to it when you grind it fresh and then we just put a little bit of hot sauce I use sriracha but pretty much any any hot sauce would would work fine and then we're gonna stir this up and if your avocado is like I said if it's really ripe then it will mix pretty easy. If it's a little bit firmer, then you can cut it in smaller pieces before. And you can also use an, an electric mixer. I do that sometimes, but these were pretty ripe. So we're just gonna leave it at that. And that looks fantastic. We sometimes use it with organic corn chips. If we want to use a, a little dip, you can use it with some, some crackers. And of course, we try to find low-carb, gluten-free crackers. And, or you could just dip vegetables, or you could have it as a, as a side dish. So we're going to have a little taste here. And that is delicious. That was a big garlic clove so for some people that might be a little bit much that was almost like two or three garlic cloves we're gonna add a little bit more lime and a little bit more salt And that is very, very good. Like I said, homemade guacamole, very difficult to mess it up. Try it and enjoy it. So let me show you what this looks like up close. We'll give you a little zoom in shot. And make sure you subscribe and follow our channel so you can stay tuned for more ideas on cooking, but also principles and understand how health works.